welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you guys my favorite buys right now for organization at the Dollar Tree. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. Okay, so we are obviously filming in Sophie's bedroom. Um, that was just where I set up today. <laughs> so to start the video out, I am showing you guys this little organization bin. Now this, you could store so much in it. You could put batteries, tacks, um, buttons, a needle kit, all kinds of stuff for your junk drawer to help keep all of the items that are small corralled. But what I like to use it for is on my washi tapes. And so yeah, I just keep my washi tapes in it. But I thought it would be a great idea to use this for like spare batteries and yeah, all the stuff that I already mentioned. So yeah, these are awesome for organization for your house. And then next, my all-time favorite thing from the Dollar Tree that I'm always buying because they're just awesome. It's these large bins and they are stackable. That's what this lip here in here is for is they stack on top of each other. So you can actually put these in like the top of your closet to utilize vertical space. So these are awesome and I'm always buying them. This is what I use in my pantry a lot of the times because it makes it look very nice and uniform because I get them all in the same color. I get them all white. And so I just corral like items in my pantry using these baskets. And then the next item I'm really excited about are these food containers. Now, I originally had these for quite some time. I kept some of the labels on, on all the stuff I'm showing you guys, so you will see what it looks like in the store. But um, for like my house, I'm going to tear the labels out. But here's what this one looks like, and this one's the small one. And this is 6.3 fourths a cup. So that holds a lot for a dollar. And these are nice snapping lids. So those are super cool. I originally only seen these and I bought four of them. And then I went back the other day and I found these big ones. So these hold 14 and a quarter cups. So that is awesome too. I wouldn't say a cereal bag would fit in it, but this is perfect for like a bag of sugar or flour, or in my case, a package of brown rice. And I liked that they were gray because I, I'm doing like a gray and white in my kitchen. So I liked that the tops were gray and they snapped really well. And I buy the big jumbo bag of shredded cheese from Sam's Club because that's the cheapest place to buy it, but it doesn't have a zipper. So we're always just kind of like rolling it up and sticking it in our fridge and hoping it doesn't go bad before um, we use it. And I've been using, I've been pouring the bag of cheese into this and that bag is five pounds of cheese. So we had a little bit extra in the bag, but we had used it up within a few days. So this has been working out really well. So my toddler even can get her own cheese. And it's easy for her to open, and it's easy for her to close. So that's awesome. And it's super compact for your fridge. So I just slide this onto the top shelf of my fridge, and it's been working out really well. I'm so glad that I tried this in my fridge. So the next thing is also a fridge organizer. This is a soda can organizer and you just stick it in your fridge and you put your sodas in it and it's just like a dispenser kind of thing. But I have been using this in my pantry for about two years. Um, well, I originally bought them two years ago and I have bought more since then. But I, I stack them pretty high and they hold up pretty well. I just took out most of the cans just so that I'm not holding like 12 cans to show you guys. But this even fits the large pasta cans and yeah, these hold up really well. And like I said, they are the, the soda can fridge organizers. And I've seen other people actually put these in their fridge and put like onions and or clementines in it. Easy for the kids to grab and keep it all organized and corralled. So that's an option. And then the next thing is these little fridge organizers. And it just says fridge storage bin. So I've kind of just been using them all different ways. 
Right now we just have a few little yogurts in here. And in this one we just have some applesauces. But um, if I buy like specialty fruits or specialty um, like yogurts with like the candies on top, I will divide it evenly between my kids and they know that they can eat all that's in their bin. So if this was Sophie's bin, she knows she can eat as much out of her bin as she wants, but when it's gone, she can't get into Emma's bin. And that's just how I keep it even for the kids so one kid can't just eat up all the fun treats and the other one doesn't have any. So I just divide them up and they pull them out. So yeah, there's that. And then my next one, I did a whole video on these next items, but I wanted to show you guys because I've been noticing that they have been coming out with more colors, at least at my Dollar Tree. And that is these book bins. And we use these in our pantry because it, it just looks so nice when you take items out of their boxes. So like the granola bars we took out of the box and the gummies and it keeps everything like all the kids treats corralled and it just looks nice. And they actually, um, they snap together. So if you wanted to make like a long line of them, and that's actually what I did in my pantry. I will link that video down below so you guys can go see it. This is the thumbnail. But yeah, so I probably have about 20 of these. But this one we use for Sophie's dress up accessories. So she just has like random stuff and this is underneath her little vanity. And she has a couple of these that we have snapped together under her vanity because they're nice and compact. And she can still reach in and grab what she needs. So we like these a lot. So the next thing we really like are these collapsible bins. This also just has like some Sophie accessories. I kind of just went around my house before I filmed this video and just grabbed all the Dollar Tree stuff that we're loving right now. So this we bought around Christmas time. And it just is, you know, what all the kids are liking right now, all the sequences. But my favorite size is this size. This fits in the cube organizers you can buy at Walmart. Um, we have the nine cubed ones. So I buy these and they fit quite a bit of stuff. So this is actually mine with my t-shirts. But um, it fits so much. They are kind of flimsy. But if you're just storing clothes in them and you're sticking them right back in the cube, they will hold up for quite a long time. We, like I said, we have been buying those for a while. And this is my favorite size. And when I see different colors at the Dollar Tree, I buy at least nine of that color. And it's just so we can have the whole cube in the same color. We've done the black, the tan, the turquoise, which is what she has now, the pinks. Yeah, I think we're going to try purple eventually. But yeah, so those are really awesome to buy. And for only a dollar, if they wear down really fast, no big deal. We'll just open a new one and put it in there. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is how I store my undershirts. I put them on these little shower hooks. And I buy these at the Dollar Tree. They come in like 10 to 12 a pack. And you can hook these on the back of your closet door using like a over the door hanger. And just slipping them on over it and um, utilizing that closet door space on the inside that you probably wouldn't have had. And I'm probably storing probably a good 30 of these. And that would have taken 30 hangers or a whole bin. Or you could put a command hook in the very back of your closet and just command hook them to the wall with these little hooks and just slip them off when you need them. So this is working out really well for all my undershirts because I wear an undershirt under all my clothes, even this long sleeve covered up shirt. I still wear a undershirt under my shirt. <laughs> so yeah, that's a fun tip. I wish I would have um, seen this years ago because my tank tops are always taking up so much space. And then my very last thing, which is like a really fun buy that we recently got just like two months ago, are these over the door hangers. And there are four main hooks, so it's like a top hook and a small hook, but there's eight total, obviously. They're metal, and they're heavy duty, and they hold a lot of stuff. Emma puts her book bag on this from school, her coats, hats, jackets, tank tops, <laughs> my purse, 
whatever you need to store. So if you see these in your Dollar Tree, go and snag them up because they are very heavy duty. So yeah. That's it for my video. If you have found anything at the Dollar Tree that you think I might be interested in, let me know down below because I'm always looking for new ways to organize my house on a budget, obviously. So yeah, let me. So if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you never miss a video when I upload it. And give this a like and I will see you next time. Bye guys.